Welcome to my lecture online. Here's problem number 18, the last one of the physics portion of the JE Advanced Test, paper 1 of 2022. And this uh, problem deals with multi-lens situations. You have two lenses in each of the four systems that we'll bring before you, four parts of the problem. Let's read the problem. It says, list 1 contains four combinations of two lenses, 1 and 2, whose focal lengths in centimeters are indicated in all cases, the object is placed 20 centimeters from the first lens on the left, and the distance between the two lenses is 5 centimeters. List 2 contains the positions of the final images. So here we have five possibilities. In each case, it is to the right of lens 2, and the indications are 7.5, 60, 36, and 30 centimeters. But something is wrong. This shouldn't be 30 centimeters twice. Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, on the right side, 30 centimeters on the oh, left side. Ah, good thing that I saw that. So here, this is 30 centimeters to the left, left side of lens two. Uh, so there, we got to be careful here. Let me make sure I read that correctly. Left side on lens two. It's all, all relative to lens two, but the only one right here, R, is to the left side of lens 2. Everything else is to the right side of lens 2. So those are the five possible answers. Now, convention-wise, I like to use the object distance. I like to use the letter S. And for the image distance, I like to use S prime. Uh, other books, they use P and Q for the object distance and the image distance. So whichever you prefer, but I prefer S and S prime, so I'll be using S and S prime. So what we're going to do first is we're going to find the position of the first image, and then we'll find the uh, object distance of the second lens, and then we'll find the position of the second image. So we can say that S prime is equal to SF over s minus f. So instead of p and q's, I use s and s prime. So s prime, and I'm going to put sub 1 there because we're dealing with the first image and the first lens. So plugging in the numbers, object distance is 20 centimeters. The focal length is a positive 10. S1, that is the object distance, minus the focal length of 10. So there we're dealing with the first lens and the first image caused by that lens. So here we have 200 divided by 10, which is equal to 20. And so what that means is that it is 20 centimeters past the first lens. So here we'll have an image. So this would be image one, and that would be at a distance of 20 centimeters past the lens, because it's positive 20 which causes it to be 15 centimeters to the right of lens 2. So now we're ready to solve for the second image. So now we can say S2 prime is equal to S2 F2 divided by S2 minus F2. And so S2 now is this distance right here, but because it's to the right of the lens, that becomes a negative object distance. So negative 15 times a positive 15 for the focal length divided by negative 15 minus a positive 15. So this becomes minus 225 divided by minus 15 minus 15, that's minus 30. And so that cancels out, the negatives cancels out. So that looks like it's 7.5. So 7.5 and it's positive, which means it's to the right of the second lens. So which is the possible answers here? 7.5 centimeters to the right. So it would be answer P. We come over here, notice we have two possibilities. It is either answer A or answer C. Now, before we go on to the next one, and we'll do that on the next video, actually what we should have done, of course, if you're taking the test, is notice that here we may not get a definitive answer if the answer is, if the answer is P. Now over here on, on uh, problem number two, or part two, notice we get RPTS. We have four different answers here, so what we probably should have done is try to do part two first, and now whatever answer we got here, we would know immediately what the correct answer is without doing the other three parts. The same, I believe, for one of the other ones, TSQR. So we could have also done part four 
and whatever answer we got here would have immediately given us the correct answer. So you probably want to do part two or part four first before you try the other parts because that would immediately give you the correct answer and then you can move on to the next problem. But here, since we want to learn how to do each one of them, it's good practice, we'll do all four parts and then we'll see if indeed we get the right answer. So at this point, we've eliminated to just A and C as the two possible answers. So stay tuned for the next one and we'll show you how to do the second part.